As students, we all know the pressures of performing in the classroom. Whether we have these pressures placed on us by our parents, teachers, or even ourselves, everyone has their mind on the ultimate goal of a college education, to get a high paying job. But what factors from our schooling actually have an effect on our starting salary? We know that we have to do well on our SATs to get into the school we want, and once we get there, we have to gain and maintain a high GPA in order to get an internship or co-op to set us apart from the other two million people graduating with a bachelor's degree this year who are also looking for a job. What we don't know is how important these factors are and quantifiable values. Wouldn't you, as a student, like to know how much more you can make in your first job by getting a 3.5 instead of a 3.0? Or how much more you can make annually by having two internships as opposed to just one? Or even how taking advantage of Purdue's professional development services can increase your expected salary. These are the types of questions we were interested in finding answers to, and by sharing our findings with you, we hope to provide you and the rest of the Purdue students a better plan of action while at Purdue to help maximize graduation successes. In order to derive answers to these questions, we sought the help of Purdue's Center for Career Opportunities to provide us with the necessary data. The CCO provided us with desensitized data sets which held students' GPA, standardized test scores, demographics, and the post-graduation survey, which includes information like starting salary, which will act as our dependent variable throughout our analysis. We used linear regression modeling to conduct this study, and based off of our research and personal experience as students, we decided to take into account the most important factors throughout college as our independent variables, which include college and major, SAT math scores, internships and co-ops, GPA, CCO help, citizenship, and gender. We first ran regression for Purdue-wide respondents. From there, we subset our data into four schools that had the best data available, Engineering, School of Technology, Health and Human Sciences, and the Cranert School of Management. Throughout the process of running the various regressions across different schools, we focused heavily on the engineers because they had the most data points to analyze, which we found ourselves using as a benchmark to the rest of our population data. To begin our analysis, we took all of the valid respondents of Purdue and run a regression model to explain salary. This determined that not only is the college important, but also GPA, SAT math scores, internship, or co-op experience. Generally, come into the CCO if you are a STEM-based student. One point of GPA was equal to three thousand five hundred and eighty-six dollars, while one hundred points of SAT math equated to two thousand two hundred dollars. Having prior work experience related to the student's major, such as internship or co-op, was a huge help to increase salary by four thousand six hundred and seventy-six dollars and five thousand six hundred and sixty-one dollars, respectively. Gender is significant when determining salary by close to over four thousand dollars, but through running t-test analysis on the college level, we found this to be due to an association with females going into majors that makes less income on average. Not because females are less likely to receive offers compared to males within the same major. As mentioned, one of our variables was to try to quantify a student's coming into the CCO and increasing their earning potential. We did not find significance to this on the Purdue-wide scale, but students related to STEM colleges do increase their average salary by receiving professional help at the CCO. Next, we attempted to understand how our variables explain the availability to gain an internship or co-op experience. Significant variables in this model included having a GPA over 3.0, going to the CCO as a freshman or sophomore, and citizenship status. Chances of receiving an internship also increase or decrease based off of what college the student was in. This is because of career field influence that some colleges require the students to receive an internship before graduation. Colleges with the most internship or co-op experience were from engineering, technology, and management schools. After understanding effects from a Purdue-wide scale, we decided to analyze four schools separately. For engineering students, many of the findings on Purdue-wide scale remain the same, but the GPA becomes much more important. A one-point shift in GPA can equate to nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-five dollars more on average income. Gender and citizenship status did not have an effect on earning potential. We found that coming into the CCO at least once in a four-year span equated to two thousand five hundred and ninety-nine dollars more dollars as well. As we tested the other three schools of choices, we found less and less explanation of salary through our variables. 
in technology, having an internship and greater than a 3.0 GPA were the main two indicators of earnings. Moving to management, the only significant variable in our set was having internship experience. For both technology and management students, coming into the CCO as an undergraduate helped receive internships, but GPA was only a factor in technology. After running regression on health and human science, and other colleges not as focused on STEM-related coursework, we found less and less significance in describing salary outcomes. Our hypothesis on why this happens has to do with the competition level within the college and the structure of learning technical skills. Majors in high demand within the job market makes companies compete with each other and pay for top talent. Competition also brings career fairs to campus, which compresses the hiring timeline and leads to the student and company all vying for top candidates at the same time. Majors that have curriculum focused on hard skills that can be easily quantified tend to have more explanation of salary through GPA and standardized testing. Since a majority of their value to a future company is taught through coursework, it makes sense that companies would be willing to use such metrics to decide salary. Contrarily, majors that have a heavier mix of soft skills may require students to build their own portfolio outside of the classroom, demoting the importance of GPA. Although these are possible explanations for why we are seeing changes from one college to the next, more data would be necessary to validate these conclusions. Our initial findings are not groundbreaking, but at the same time, it solidifies intuition and supports the effort of students to work hard, get good grades, and build relevant skills through internships and experiences. Seeing this in real data and that it actually does pay off is a good sign. This will allow for the Purdue Center for Career Opportunities to better customize content on their website and personalize services in a way that ensures the student understands what is important for job success in a strong professional profile specific to their field. Helping the student understand that there are different trade-off costs between these variables dependent on what college and major they are will be key in them making better choices on spending their time and effort.